Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create bullet hole decals inside of your game. So when you shoot your gun and it hits a wall or a surface, it's going to leave bullet holes. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So I had to pick up the gun, shoot this wall in front of me, you can see we're going to get some bullet holes appearing on the wall like so. And this will work on any surface that I currently shoot on, we're going to get these bullet holes appearing perfectly like so. And after 10 seconds, this is also going to despawn as well. You can obviously set that up to be any time that you want, but for me, I set it for 10 seconds just for the purpose of the tutorial. Because the reason we do that is obviously if you have too many decals spawned in the world at once, it is going to get a little bit laggy. But obviously, for the purpose of the tutorial, it's going to be perfectly fine. But I thought I'd just show you how to do that anyway. So, this is what we're we'll going over and creating today. So, without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import your bullet hole decal which we're going to be using. So I'll leave a link in the description down below to the texture that I'm using. I'm just using this bullet hole which I have here and I have edited the photo I used to cut out the background so I just have the bullet hole here. Once you've imported that, what we're going to do is actually now create this as a decal material. So we're going to right click on our texture and create material and then open it up straight away. In here we want to change the material domain from surface to deferred decal and the blend mode from opaque to translucent. Then we also want to plug in the A into the opacity here, so the alpha into the opacity, just so it does keep that translucency that I've created. So it's a PNG, I've got a transparent background, I want to make sure I keep that so I just have the bullet hole. So if I were to open up the texture again, if we don't connect in the alpha, we're not going to have this transparency here. So that's why we've done that. And that is all we need to do to create the decal, it is that simple. We've now got our decal material here. So if I were to apply and save this and close it, what we can do is drag in this material into our level and you can see it's acting as a decal, it's now working perfectly. We have a bullet hole placed in our level. Now you'll see that this is obviously absolutely massive and not at all what we want unless obviously we're creating a meteor but we're not, we're just creating a simple bullet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep it placed in my level so I can actually size it to how big I want. So on the right we're going to change the decal size here. I'm going to untake the padlock just so I can change them all individually. And I think what I'm going to go with is 10, 10, 13, I believe I found was a good value for me. Maybe not 13, but 12, or maybe even 10 at this time, actually, it might be good. The thing is, it's not perfectly circular, so I don't want it to be perfectly square, because then it looks a little bit squashed. So I think that size is going to be good for me. Obviously, I've messed about with it earlier when I was creating the code. But what I'm going to do as well is just drag in my bullet to see if that matches up. The bullet is a little bit bigger than the hole, but obviously I think this is going to work quite well because the bullet is actually quite big as well anyway. Obviously you can also use any size that you want if you want to be bigger, if you want to be smaller, you can just match it up to the size of your bullet so it does make more sense for you. But for me, 10, 10, 12 is going to be perfect, so I'm just going to remember that number here. Now I'm going to delete this, or if you want you can keep it in so you have a reference to that number for later on, but I'm going to remember it. So I'm going to save this. And now we're going to start creating some of the code to actually spawn in this decal when we shoot. So to do that, we want to open up our projectile blueprint. So for me, that's content, first person, blueprints, BP, first person projectile. So your projectile, your bullet, or this might even be in your gun if, that, if you're maybe doing like line traces. Basically, where you're registering a hit from your bullet, you want to do this code there. Now, if you're using the first person project like I am, you will probably have some code in here. You can keep it there if you want, or you can delete it like I have. If you've kept it there, you're going to want to connect this into false of the branch. But what we want to do is we want to just simply do spawn decal attached. Not at location, we want to do it attached. The decal material is going to be our bullet hole mat that we have here. Our decal size is obviously what we just created, so mine was 10, 10, 12. Attached to component, we want to do other component from the event hit like so, because I should also mention I'm doing this out of event hit, sorry if I forgot to say that. Attach point name, I don't need to worry about. If you're maybe doing this onto a player, so maybe some armor, you might want to do that, but for the most part, you probably won't need to worry about that. The location wants to be the hit location, and the rotation, we do want to change this, so we want to get the hit normal, and we want to get rotation from x vector, like so, connecting that into rotation. And again, that's out of the hit normal, not the hit location. Then after this, I'm simply just going to get destroy actor so that we're going to be destroying the bullet upon impact as well. Now we'll compile and save this 
and close this and we should see this working for us. Now the reason why we have to do rotation x factor is because if we were to drag this in you'll notice it's already going to be rotated to minus 90 on the y. If I just set this to 0 it's not going to work properly if I set it to 90. It is going to work properly but that's but if I raise it up slightly you'll notice we have stuff like this. So essentially we just need the rotation to fit perfectly to whatever surface it lands on because obviously shooting the floor and shooting this wall or shooting that wall isn't going to have the same rotation values every time so we just need to make sure it changes based on where we hit it and where we land. But let's hit play to test this out. So if we just shoot this wall nothing is going to happen so let's have a look at why that's happened. And that's because I actually forgot the final two steps of this <laughs> so very sorry about that I don't know how I missed it. But what we want to do is location type set to keep world position and the lifespan I'm going to set to 10. So the lifespan here is how long in seconds it's going to be in the world. If you leave it at 0 it's going to be there forever, it's not going to despawn unless you destroy it. If I set it to 10 it will be there for 10 seconds and then it will disappear. So again I'm setting it for 10 for the purpose of the tutorial but for you you might want to set this to a minute, two minutes, whatever it is for you that makes most sense or you can leave it there forever as well if you wanted to but I wouldn't recommend that if you're going to be spawning in a lot of decals. So let's compile, save this, and then hit play to test it out, out once again. If we just shoot, you can see we're now getting bullet holes appearing on the wall. And if I shoot the floor, they're appearing here as well. If I shoot other surfaces, so other walls, they're going to be appearing in the correct location and rotation as well. And then also if we were to wait 10 seconds, you can see these are going to be despawning too after the time is up, so they're not going to be staying in the world for the whole time as you can see perfectly there. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we set up a bullet hole decal system in which when we shoot a wall or shoot any surface we're going to get bullet holes spawning like so, so it just gives that extra level of realism and an extra effect inside of our games. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.